so what is disclaimer of opinion disclaimer of opinion means when the auditor is unable to form an overall opinion about the matters contained in the financial statements is called disclaimer, disclaimer of opinion a disclaimer of opinion should be expressed when the possible effect of a limitation on, on the scope is so material and pervasive that the auditor has not been able to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and is accordingly unable to express an opinion on the financial statement means when the possible effect of a limitation on scope is so material means when any limitation is affected which is so metal and pervasive that the auditor has not been able to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and is accordingly unable to express an opinion on the financial statement so here material means in auditing concept important and significant if any limitation is scope is so metal means so important and significant in pervasive means and on welcoming effect pervasive means on welcome on welcoming effect in which the auditor is unable to express his overall opinion about the matter contained in the financial statement so when it happens when the books of account of the company seized by income tax authorities then auditor is unable to opinion in his overall report then when it is not possible for the auditor to obtain certain information and when the scope of audit work is restricted so these are the point for which disclaimer of opinion report is given by auditor and the auditor will state in his report that he is unable to form an opinion on the financial statement such report is called as a disclaimer of opinion report so let's write all the important points of disclaimer of opinion and what do you mean by disclaimer of opinion the disclaimer of opinion is given when the auditor is unable to form an overall opinion about the matters contained in the financial statement okay so a disclaimer of opinion should be expressed when the possible effect of limitation on scope is so material and pervasive that the auditor is 
has not been able to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and is unable to express an opinion on the financial statement this is the concept a disclaimer of opinion is given when the auditor is unable to form an overall opinion about the matter contained in the financial statement a disclaimer of opinion should be expressed when the possible effect of limitation on scope is so material and pervasive so ma material means here is important or significant and pervasive means an welcoming effect and on welcoming effect that the auditor has not been able to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and is unable to express an opinion on the financial statement so what are the reasons and in which situation it happens let's write it may happen in situation such as when bookshop account of the company seized by income tax authority seized by income tax authority second point when it is not possible for the auditor to obtain certain information or when the scope of audit work is restricted is restricted okay so these are the some situation where disclaimer of opinion is given by auditor then the auditor will state in his report that he is unable to form an opinion on the financial statement on the financial statements 
search report is called as disclaimer of opinion report so this is the disclaimer of opinion report but in case of adverse report an adverse or negative report is given when the auditor conclude that based on his examination he does not agree with the affirmation made in the financial statement or financial report but disclaimer of opinion means is given when the auditor is unable to form an overall opinion about the matter contained in the financial statement and a disclaimer of opinion should be expressed when the possible effect of limitation on scope is so matter and pervasive that the auditor has not been able to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and is unable to express express an opinion on the financial statement then it may happen in situations such as when books of account of the company seized by income tax authorities then when it is not possible for the auditor to obtain certain information or when the scope of audit work is restricted then the auditor will state in his report that he is unable to form an opinion on the financial statement such report is called as disclaimer of opinion report so very good question so you just need to remember all the important points such as uh, situation where disclaimer of opinion is given by auditor there are three points when the books of account of the company is seized by income tax authority then when it is not possible for the auditor to obtain certain information when the scope of audit work is restricted thank you so much